Aloha, my friends. And welcome back to Children's Stories by Ohana. My name is Uncle Amos. And today, we head out to a country called Bhutan. I have a story for you. My name is Amandi. And today, I'm going to my first Ura Yachoi festival. My grandma Dickie said we celebrate according to legend. The story goes like this. A lama asked an old woman sitting outside for a glass of water. The lama was gone when she came out with the water, leaving only a sackcloth bag. Out of curiosity, the old woman opens the bag and finds a statue. From this old woman, the statue had been passed down from generation to generation, and it still remains in the hands of her descendants. They show the statue to people during this festival, the festival that's located in Boom Than in the Ura village. It is one of the highest valleys in Bhutan. We live in Jakar, so the trek will be an hour long. What makes it super exciting is my father gets to be one of the dancers, dancing in the Uraya Choi dance at the festival. I watched father train and rehearse for months and months. I even knew the dance by heart. Then disaster happened. On the day before we were to leave, father hurt his ankle while tending to the goats. I will not be able to dance, he said. But you can go ahead. I watched mother tend to father's sore ankle as grandma Dickie's hands came to rest on my shoulders. I looked up at her. Will father be able to dance? Let's pray, she said leading me to the prayer altar as my mind filled with worry. I watched as she lit the incense and kneeled down in front of the altar to pray. I joined kneeling beside her, closing my eyes and placing my palms together. I prayed for a miracle. The following day, I woke up to see my Kira dress folded nicely and neatly at the foot of my bed. Get ready, Mama said, peeking her head into my room. I scratched my head. Was Father's uncle okay? As I pulled the covers off, washed and dressed, then headed out to the breakfast table. When I got to the breakfast table, I found that my mother had put a ballap sack in my hands. I made breakfast on the go. We have to catch the bus. Mother kissed the top of my head and we headed out the door. Walking out into the brilliant spring sunshine, I saw father standing there to rest in his festival finest. You can dance, I said. Father smiled, picking me up and spinning me around. Yes, I can dance, he said, as he danced around with me in his arms. Thank you so much for your prayers. I am healed, Amandi. And they went on to the festival and they danced and danced and had a wonderful time with her father. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Be sure to click on the links below if you want to learn how to play a song from so many different countries using my favorite instrument, the ukulele. And remember, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and ping this notification bell so you never miss another story from me. Until next time, the journey of the stories continues. Aloha!